Okay, first thing I'd like to do is introduce yourself, Coach. Okay, my name is Josh Klein. I'm head varsity soccer coach out here at DeSmet Jesuit High School. Um, been here 10 years and super excited to take on this new role, this new challenge. DeSmet High School head coach. Correct. It's been a while since somebody else has had that opportunity. 46 years. Was it 46 years that Greg 46 was the coach? 46 years. Here? He's been the coach. Wow. He's got over 700 wins. Uh, was what in the top three winningest high school yeah, coaches? Yeah, one of only yeah top definitely um, top five with Terry and right. Vince. I mean, just talk about impressive. And we for got St. and Louis. Robin down in uh, Oakville when you combine all the yep. the boys Dave. and the girls. Yep. Obviously, so, Greg was doing the baseball when when yeah. the others were doing the girls. Yeah. Yep. But for B- boys big shoes only. to fill is what they they tell me. Big shoes but is right. He was a size eight, so I think. Uh, We'll, we'll be we'll be okay. He I, I've worked for him for ten years. I played for him for four, and you played for Greg for Greg. Yep, and and with with that much exposure to him, I know what kind of program he wants here. I, I respect a lot of the stuff that he's done here. I hope that I can continue a lot of the traditions. There's a lot of great things that this program stands for, but then I want to bring in a new angle, a new uh, a new personality. You know, because you can't. No one can match a Vitello personality. He's taught me a little bit, but maybe I can I can bring in uh, just some new angles, some uh, new energy. The let's game say. changes, and uh-huh. you know, it has to. Yep. We have to adapt as players, as coaches, as fans. Sure. Do, do you have some specific ideas based upon you're you're wrapping up your summer practices here, right? Correct. We're, we're out on the campus right now after a, a morning session where it wasn't 90 degrees out. Oh man. I don't know how lucky you they are. You must be doing something right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What, you know, DeSmet has, as this is a Vitelloism, it, it has been blue collar soccer. Hard one on one, grinding defense. You know, I like that kind of stuff. I, I think that that's something we need to be proud of here is, is that sort of blue collar effort. But I, I know that the game, like you said, Oli, is, is changing. It's evolving. We need to focus not just as DeSmet soccer, but. U.S. soccer is. We need to focus more on possession. We, we we need we need that kind of of confidence on the ball, and that's something that I want to focus even more on here is possession style uh, soccer, pretty soccer, uh, combined with that tough, hard nosed play that dismiss. Well, and we so have the forward. advantage now. I, I for the ten years I've been doing this, the. Uh, the players that are coming into the high school programs are better and better every year. The uh, their familiarity with the ball sure. seems to, and, and so you can fairly quickly identify who they are. And then the question is, how much of that depth do you have? Yep. So is that something that you uh, will see an impact of the first year? I think so. I think that. Um we got a good freshman class coming in. I don't think we've got any breakout stars just yet, but we've got a solid group of about 50 kids from camp that are going to make our freshman and sophomore teams even stronger. Uh, and like you said, they're coming in with, with a good knowledge base, and I think that says a lot about the clubs that we've got in St. Louis mm-hmm. and the, the training that they're getting at such a young age that by the time they hit 14 and 15, uh, we can jump into some really – some, some real advanced tactics and skills. Uh, do we have captains at this stage? Do we know what the the fall we had a captain? Like? Uh, we had a junior captain last year by the name of John Russo, and you know he's obviously in the lead for the captain's role this year. Uh, he's coming back from some injuries. He had a plate put in his shin, and so we're waiting Ouch. for him to rehab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he delayed an injury. Uh, delayed some rehab on an injury, but we're hopeful that he's going to be back ready to go. Well, how do you how do you pick captains? Is that your choice or is it the boys' choice? We leave it to the boys. You leave it to the boys. Now, so you're one of those programs. Yep, we leave it to the boys. The coaches will look at it. All right. But since I've been here, we've always agreed. It's always. I been. mean, these are smart kids. They know who right. the leaders are and who they want to put in charge, and we're totally good with that. All right. So yeah, as of right now, yeah, we've got uh, we've got four or five seniors that are returning that can also jump in as well as, as a role so yep. you'll have a you'll have a good senior class mm-hmm. an overly large but a good senior class right. and, and obviously as the you you spend a lot of time with jv prior to, to your working with vitello directly yep. so yep. you know what you got uh well let's just let's talk a little bit about i understand you uh you said you played for vitello yourself and you won a state championship one of five Yep. The Spartans have won. When was that? 
Uh, the team that I was lucky to be on was the 1995 state championship team. Uh, I was a junior that year, so we were under the leadership of guys like John Benoit, Tony Pisani, Ryan Workmeister, and Adam Shea. John Benoit actually is our, one of our assistants now on, on the okay? varsity program. Yeah, that team, that was a that was a great year, a magical year um, when Brian DePriest scored against CBC um, earlier in the playoffs, and then we met St. Louis U High in the finals. Met Slew in the finals. St. Louis U High in the finals. Yep, and and that game basically came down to some defensive play by our goalie Adam Shea uh, and a penalty kick. And the guy who took the penalty kick was St. Louis's own Taylor Twelman. Twelman. Twelman and took it. Yep. You were telling me Twelman was a freshman that year. I think he was. I'm almost right. positive he was a freshman that year. But you had a couple um, of years on him at this stage. Yeah. Yep. But that doesn't matter. The guy still could really control the game. He, yeah. You Absolutely. were describing how he was. He drew the the attention of the defense. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We 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 planned our um, our our. Our game around Taylor, mm-hmm. you know, that's how strong of a player he was. He took a great penalty shot. I mean, it was going low corner. Adam Shea just read it right, and made a wonderful save. It's a picture that that's still hanging up in this building. So I, I know. <laughs> I'm sure Taylor would like. I to might have to get that. a copy of that one of these days <laughs> yeah, for yeah. my little history files. Yeah. Well, okay. that that's great to hear. It's also that you know that's a story I probably need to follow up on as well, and that is because we saw it so much in the World Cup this year, is that goalies don't guess. Mm-hmm. Goalies should come in prepared. Yep. If you've done your, your research, you yep. know the tendencies, but you're also reading the player, aren't you? Yep, and Adam was that kind of guy to, to do the, the, the pregame preparation, but my gosh, he was such a terrific athlete. You know, he played baseball for Coach mm-hmm. Vitello as well. So, yep, Adam was... How those guys get down that fast, I, I can't even picture Right. That's right. They're a different. They're a different animal altogether, goalies. <laughs> um, but that doesn't take them away from being good soccer players, right. for sure. No That's question. Right. Well, congratulations on the new gig. Thank you. I look forward to uh, seeing an early game this year. Absolutely. Thanks, Oli. You're welcome, All Coach. Right.